just got chunked real hard down bottom. And Hooney, he's been challenged. Poro in his first game at the World Championship flashes forward aggressively. Destiny gets channeled by Bourne and Hooney is caught by the red cards. Gate is revealing his vision. Poro lunges forward. Red card, yellow card, blue card. Bourne's looking for the trigger. Pulls it on the gold. Oh. But Hooney's managed to get away. Something we have seen a long time ago though against these bigger competitions. So when she speeds up the team on one guy, you kind of slow them down. But definitely agree with you. It seems to be the thought process behind it. Huni though, he's not really gonna go to Gets the knockup, Hopsy Opal. He's gonna get a shield back down. That's gonna be enough to kill him. Oh, oh yeah, Gets him out in time. It's still a flash down. Can you really call it an outplay? Huni fits the line. Please, you can kill it. Not if he does flash. Really close. I was so close to actually finishing the animation, and Huni's even wasting a flash. The end there. And again, we so often see the other top laner who wins that one on one against both of the years. He's had him on secondary for a bottom. Manic also have the warts to back it up. Rooney should not be too greedy now, though, because his team is making a play in the bottom side of the map. Kaza is the swap we talked about earlier, how you put Sivir and Mitch to wave them to make the towers and then go to the side lane. It's very difficult for him right now because of the fact Fnatic is already grouped and start pushing in on the tower. But that means Huni needs to be careful top because his team is on bottom side and he's doing a camp. He's in trouble. Huni gets caught out and he's going to get dropped. Flashes over the wall. Oh! Broken wings <laughs> out. Doesn't find the Baron wall. Manages to survive. Can Fnatic do the same thing down bottom? Port has been chunked to... This is a picture replay of the last oh, one, oh. but this time Here we go. is ready to turn. Ramo used to count trying to get the back lines high. Very low pops at Zonia's early. Can Incarnation turn this one around again? Big split. See Ty push back. C9 ball takes down the bra. There's a big Massive go. Oh, big gnarl. C9 could be in trouble after survive. Turns it around now. The damage from Incarnation coming in. There's a double kill again. Already Z Ty desperately trying to keep the fight under control. And he gets a rookie with a triple kill. Trying to make it away against balls. He's gonna run for it, and that's a fight that went even up four for four, but it looks like Balls might be able to catch Rookie in the end. Maybe. Yeah, I, mean, I think Rookie's uh, a little too quick. Not. He gets a little bit more money to get out of here. <laughs> Specifically, that is the dangerous shot calling of Cloud9, and this time, it's pretty fast with that dead yeah, man's play. play. Yeah. But he has no summoner spells. All right. Yeah. Oh! 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 oh. Barely doesn't get it. Yep, and Balls just gonna die here on the top side in between his turrets. Pi making his way in, looking for Yellow Star, but it's pretty tanky. There's the flash kick as Lemonation's trying to pick this one up. Shadow Dash comes out, another Q lands, exhaust immediately on the high. The binding dodge by Yellow Star gets through the base gate. High still wants it, misses the Q, has to get out, but Colin is gonna walk towards the inhibitor turret. The Octopus of Rocket. Maybe Rocket doesn't find him. Casually lists to the left, I believe is what you call that maneuver. Reckless, he's trying to answer this one. Stand United. Guard. Here he'll, comes he'll some guy. He's going there. in for it. Can he maybe get the steal? He's going to try and do something here. Watch it. Score. He's going to look for it. Gets altered up by Gragas. Can't move into the pit. Now Peke going to get vision. He needs to leave. He needs to get Kuhn. Oh. Get knocked out by Nagni. No, he can't chase it. The flash has come out. Pickaboo saved him. Pushed him over the wall. Origin get Baron. And they get away. He has his own lightning rush. We know he leveled it up early. Also has a ward. He does get hit though, he's slowed. And he's missing a turret, so here comes Bangy. He's gonna flash for the slow, which means Soaz has to burn it preemptively, and he gets his right. Bangy goes the wrong way, Soaz goes back in on the Marin, and the stun is still available. The Q comes in, gets some damage down, but where's his team gonna be? There's no one around right now. He's still running away through the wards. Pop summoner teleport. Oh! First. Soaz tries to juke out both members with his awkward flash. Here they've got Alistar coming in behind the turret. Oh, Pawn's in so much trouble. Yellowstar needs to hit his combo. Flashes for the knockup hit, but Pawn backwards. Expect the other mid laner to roll quicker to assist in a potential fight. Blind face checking uh -oh. as Evelyn is incredibly right. dangerous. DBQ and PYL getting aggressive. Flame is back as well. camping on the lantern. <laughs> in a lot of trouble. Oh, 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 he got it on the lantern. I can't believe it. Actually, I totally can. That's Pickaboo. He hooked him off. The communication. Wow. Oh.
Buffalo Star, the captain, the shot caller for the team, makes the play. He dodges the hook from Mako, circles around, rain over teleports in, and they're able to get the fight they want. Death Tier, stuck in the middle, can't even click the lantern and Pressure on all the way. Oh, there. There's the jump man in the two minutes to get the ball. 